having chosen this and pitched this, and so um, it's I have nobody to blame but myself. And all of us who who sort of formulated this are like you know we're not saving somebody else's game. We're living our own. So it's freaking scary. It's on the line. have a lot of pressure riding on these tests. Um, we've been very exhaustive in our approach, so we don't expect any surprises. Uh, nevertheless, uh, they wouldn't call it a test if you knew the outcome. So we fully expect them to be successful. Um, I dare say we're confident, but anytime you deploy a parachute, you never know what's gonna happen. It ran over with the front tire, and it jumped up, whipped the thing up, dropped it back down, and then the back tire caught it. Ran right over, three inch gouge in it. What are the odds of that happening? We had all our cameras ready to go. Uh, test crew was doing a walk through the test section. We uh, had one final change to do the test setup. Uh, required maneuvering the scissor lift, and we had an incident. We lost a tire. We got about an hour and a half of crew time left before we lose the crew for the night. So um, right now it's very much in doubt whether we'll test tonight. We'll see what happens. There's no way we're going to get that replaced tonight. The only hope is to find a spare here, and we don't have a spare. Do we have another scissor lift we can cannibalize? We can't just go pick up another tire. These are not commonly available. They're an odd size. So even if we wanted to, nobody's open this time of night. Yeah, but we're pretty much in danger of losing a test day because of this. I mean, yeah. what time are you going to make the call? I'd say 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, and then we got to call it. Because at 11.30, everybody turns into pumpkins. They found something. We'll see what that looks like. Wow. Yeah, that's not going to do it. We're stuck. We're running the test, but uh, we're the ones being tested. Biggest wind tunnel in the world, and we're on hold because of a flat tire. So it doesn't always go the way we want it to. In terms of being tested, I think the hardest thing is just uh, to maintain your, um, your focus on the problem that you're trying to address. And um, every aspect of this project is, is unforgiving. You know, there's a, a hundred daggers that could kill us when we try to make this mission succeed at Mars. And uh, it's very difficult to, to stay focused uh, long term. You do the same thing for a number of years or a few years and you can uh, just grow tired. You know, it's easy to overlook something that you might not have overlooked before just through uh, mental exhaustion. Once we launch, we can't take anything back. So we have to think of everything ahead of time and make sure that you don't let anything slip through the cracks. I think that's probably the most difficult thing. It's very taxing. There's no limit to the amount of hours we can work in a day. How many hours were we allowed to work in a day? It's 12. When did we get here? So you guys are happy with this? It's gonna work? All right then. I guess we'll stand back. All right. <laughs>